Hi everyone, it's Sunny and today we're going to be doing paper plate mazes. So let's get started. What we'll need for this is a paper plate, of course, some marbles, straws, and I'm going to use markers to decorate my straws because they're just plain white. And you could also use any at home materials like popsicle sticks, yarn, etc. You'll need some tape and scissors. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is grab my straws and this is optional, but I'm just gonna design them. So I just finished designing my straws and now I'm gonna be cutting them into smaller pieces. You could cut them into any different sizes. I'm just gonna cut them in all different sizes so that they could fit around and make the maze more difficult. So I'm gonna go like this. Some tiny ones. I love the colors on this one. So I just cut out all of my straws and I made sure to have a lot of small pieces of straws because the small they are, the difficult the maze is. So I have them in all sizes. So I'm gonna start designing the maze with the straws. I'm gonna start taping the straws onto the paper plate so that I could start with my marble maze. So I've taped everything onto my plate. This being the starting all the way over here and here. I did make a few adjustments and I also used clear tape because the yellow tape was not sticking sadly. This is how it's supposed to look like or if you have a different type of maze or setup. Let's see how our marble does with the maze. I'll grab a marble. Ooh, this is pretty. Okay, let's see how it does. Oh! So I'm gonna try once again to see how I do with the marble. And I'm gonna time myself this time and see if I could go any faster. Oh no, it's stuck. Now you could do a race with your family or friends having multiple mazes and see which marble does win and goes the fastest or you can even go and first yourself by your own time. Also make your maze a lot more difficult and by adding more things to it. So if you want to revamp this up, you could add anything you want to it like this. Okay, so I did add a few cool adjustments to it. I added B to it to see if it could go over or around. Then I added almost like a tunnel for it to go through, which is pretty cool, honestly. And then like a almost like a ramp, so I could like hit off of it. And yeah, so let's see how this one goes. So this right here is the new maze. It's actually really nice. And it was super cool to add like these other adjustments to it to make it more challenging for the marble and for me actually. So if you're competing with other people, Make sure to add these cool adjustments to it and challenges. It also makes it really nice and cool. It was really cool making this maze. I hope you guys had fun and enjoyed it just as much as I did. Make sure you guys keep updated with our upcoming videos and posts on Facebook and YouTube. It was really fun doing this, guys. Hope you enjoy. Bye.